Alright, yo guys, what's going on? It's Soul Rage, and welcome back to some more Call of Duty 2. Is there a new mod? I'm really praying they didn't fuck with my meat bot, because if I can't play meat bot on COD 2, then what am I supposed to do? <laughs> COD 2, what am I supposed to do? Holy shit. I'm a rapper, by the way. Nope, looks like nothing's changed at all. Alright, never mind. As if they would really have to update a mod for Call of Duty 2. I've missed this game so much. Left with 360 no scope triple into plus 40. Fucking insanity. Fucking shit. That was such a huge lineup right there, and I just, uh. Ooh, another no scope triple. Insanity. It really has been far too long since I played this game, and. Oh, yo, there's a 5 and 1. Let's go. Axis win. And we still lost somehow. Bro, what? We had the lead for the longest time, and we still lost. Okay, that's great. Imagine reacting to a 5 and 1 on bots, though. So, aside that, though, I'm hoping I'm sounding a little bit better. I probably still sound a little bit nasally, and also, I lost my voice. Although, I'm thinking for the most part, though, my voice is uh, pretty much back, which is good, because yesterday it was squeaking really, really badly. So, now, just because I lost my voice, though, and just had, like, a really squeaky and scratchy voice, that's not the reason why I missed an upload yesterday. I was working on some uh, university assignments, which, thankfully enough, tomorrow is the last day of this semester. I'm going to take my last final, and then it's summer break, thankfully, but... And also, besides allergies, the reason as to why I lost my voice was because of the Asking Alexandria concert that I was talking about last week, or a couple of days ago. Finally got the chance to meet him after all these years of listening to them. And quite honestly, it was so fucking cool. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't record anything. Hang on. Alright, insanity, I guess. Even with COD 2 bots, I have a terrible habit of no-scoping, because that could have been a 5 or 6 in 1 right there. So as I was saying, though, I finally got the chance to meet him after all these years, because uh, I've been listening to Ask Alexandria since, like, 2009, 2010. Finally got the chance to meet him once again, and quite honestly, see, in real life, I'm an extremely nervous person. Like, it's really, really bad at times. I'm not sure if it's, like, a social anxiety kind of thing, but, like, I think it kind of goes with, like, meeting all sorts of famous people, or, like, people that you, I guess, uh, look up to. Any sort of music artist, for example, if you got the chance to meet them, right? It is a slightly nerve-wracking experience, but what was so weird to me was that just, like, I walked up to them, it was so casual, I was just chatting shit with them for a little bit, it was great. So now the only downside to it is that I wasn't able to record anything, which I totally would have, but unfortunately they had a really, really strict rule of, uh, no personal devices when you go to meet them, like, uh, don't have them sign anything, like, don't bring anything extra, which again really does suck because I would have loved to have been able to take out my phone and, like, I don't know, take a Snapchat video with them or just get something for YouTube with them, but I couldn't. Also, quick little side note for any of you guys that have me added on Snapchat, I, I really do apologize apologize for that. If you guys have me added, you guys know what I'm talking about. So as of right now, though, the only thing that really sucks is that I haven't gotten my download link for my picture with the band, because that was supposed to be sent to me yesterday, and I wasn't gonna have it for the thumbnail of this video, but I, I don't have it yet. Oddly enough, though, I feel like I psyched myself out in a way, because I had this sneaking suspicion, like, you know what? Knowing my luck, just knowing how shit my luck is, I'm probably gonna end up taking my picture with the band, and I'm not gonna be emailed the download link for it, or something like that. I don't know. I still haven't gotten it yet, but there's no way in hell I'm not going to support and being like, yo, where the fuck is my email link? It really does suck, though, because I wanted to have that picture for the thumbnail, and that's not happening, so... But at some point in the near future, obviously, when I get it, I'll show it to you guys. Ooh. No! Oh my god, they were all spawning right there! Fuck! And there it is. I mean, aside the voice crack, though, uh, it was a pretty clean single to a triple, but that could have easily been a quad off spawn if I wasn't shit. So, although I don't have my picture right now, I was able to get this uh, signed poster, which is pretty dope. Signed poster with all the members and everything. I think that's pretty cool. Now, the only thing that sucks is that obviously it's all like wrinkled up and shit. <laughs> because here's the thing like, obviously, when they gave us the posters, it was in pristine condition, but unfortunately, at the venue, uh, there was no re entry allowed, which was really fucking annoying. So, I had to like roll it up and put it in my pocket. I had honestly kind of assumed that with having VIP, I'm not saying that like of course we'd be able to like leave and come back into the venue whenever we want but I mean I had kind of assumed that everything that we were getting from from VIP that we would be able to like go back out to our cars put it in our cars then come back into the venue but nope couldn't do that so now it's kind of crinkled up which sucks but I think that there's like some way I could probably like iron it out a little bit I don't know overall though the concert was absolutely amazing all the bands were amazing live What the fuck? Oh 
shit. Oh shit. A lot of bots. Lots of feeding going on here. So anyway, so overall, I had an absolutely fantastic time. VIP was totally worth it. Definitely in the future when I go to see Asking Alexandria again, I'm gonna get VIP again. I just can't stress this enough though. It was such a surreal experience just meeting them because I I've just been listening to their music for so long. And I'm sure that if any of you guys have met like some of your favorite music artists once again, I know you guys completely understand where I'm coming from. Ooh, another jump shot triple. Let's go. I really shouldn't be doing this, but I have my hand out on the space bar to like help me jump and it's really hurting my finger. Oh, what the fuck was that? Pretty sure that was just a quad, but I thought it was a five and one. Hey, there we go. Let's go, dude. I fucking love this game. I've been saying this for far too long, but I swear Call of Duty 2 is the one game I can get on to make myself feel good. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, if I hit something that I think is really, really cool on COD 2, I'll just throw it in the one-handed montage anyway. Fuck it. Why not? I mean, really, the entire purpose of that montage is just to use things that I think look cool. Obvious leftovers, I know, but still. And we're really about to lose this game, aren't we? Yep, that's great. Why do I get so annoyed over that? For one, it's Call of Duty 2. For two, it's 2018. Nobody cares about win-loss anymore, but nah. I think I'm done now. Plus, I also just realized it's 1.30 in the afternoon, and I am trying to stream after I upload this video, and I want it to be at a slightly decent time, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this Call of Duty 2 video now. I hope you all have enjoyed. I know that, once again, it's been a little while since I uploaded a COD 2 video, but if you guys would like to see some more in the near future, let me know that down in the comment section below. It's been so rage. I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.